When you think of Morocco, one of the things that may come to mind are the strays. There are over 3 million stray cats and dogs roaming about. A lot of donkeys too, and camels of course, which are a major pull for the tourists. But when you think of Moroccan wildlife, what do you think of? We had to do a quick Google search to find out, because every day is a school day and we wanted to know what we might be letting ourselves in for. that Morocco has a population of about 500 wild hyenas which is, which is pretty cool we haven't actually looked at a map yet to see sort of what areas they're in so they might not be anywhere near here at all but still I don't think they're gonna be anywhere near this road no but imagine they're if they're gonna did. be probably in I don't know where they'll be actually it'd be interesting to find out we should have a look we should we definitely should. have a look Thank you. yeah but what other animals kids were once roaming in the Moroccan hills and stuff. What else used to live here? Lions. Lions. That's yeah. right. Can you remember what sort of lions? No. <laughs> no. There's, you always, there used to be crocodiles as well. Crocodiles. There used to be all yeah. 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 And they've all been wiped out really. So it's actually the Barbary lion which used to roam in the wild Moroccan hills or desert, wherever they were. Um, they're not actually they're extinct in the wild now but there is a few in captivity and we googled it we didn't find out this one and there is barbary lions at belfast zoo apparently which is quite interesting though they look a bit different i think they're i think they've got a smaller head than the lions like the normal african lion that we're used to seeing um but yeah kind of glad they're not here now because i wouldn't want to be bumping into them cheap safari <laughs> We're on our way down the coast towards Agadir and just starting to come across our first mountain roads here in Morocco. And as the saying goes, whatever comes up must come down. Oh, this is the bit I don't like. Woo! I don't, I don't. Oh, it makes me nervous. Don't worry, I've got this babe. Yeah, my babe. So don't have to in the air. So we're going down quite a big mountain slope at the minute and again the retarder, the exhaust brake has not come on. So I don't know what's going on. Now I would presume it should be in. Yeah. It should be on now but it's fairly steep. So right there just as we were driving we spotted some really exotic sort of plants alongside the side of the road. There was loads of them, tons, and just 10 minutes before that we were having a discussion with Teddy about where bananas were grown and we obviously had South America and Africa but we weren't really sure that they uh, were grown up here in Morocco but upon closer look we were trying to see what exactly it was and they were in fact banana trees which is really really good so we just passed a banana plantation and then alongside a little bit further down there was a, a little shop selling them and it said like bananary a bit like patisserie i guess um but yeah really really cool to see that Let's have a little look. Hey. How cool is that? Peacock, chickens. We've got some chickens here, Teddy. So just waiting for Rick and Rubel Jack went with him uh, to get back from checking us in and then they just come past us. <laughs> I'm like, I'm probably a golf buggy and be like, I'll see you in a bit. So I'm just waiting for them to come back. They're obviously gone to look for our pitch. Someone's taken them to find the pitch, see where we're going to park up. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you are, huh? Hi. How was good. that? Good. <laughs> All good. Yeah? Yeah, it's going to be tight. 
That was it? <laughs> yeah, the first load he showed me were just like, I was just like, not going to happen at yeah, all. Yeah. yeah, it's sort of similar to campsite we went to at Christmas, Insane, like yeah. just tight, tight, tight. So we've got one, it's still going to be tight. Okay. Yeah, we can walk around to it if you want, I'll we show you. We need to shut the cab because all that stuff's in there, the windows right. are open. Can you just like get me a ticket? I can't believe you got a ride, Jack. I know you're hungry, but we need to just... We'll have a little walk around. Yeah. We're going to have to sort of pull in. And then, yeah, we'll just, we'll get it in. Might just be a few shunts. Okay. But... Nice pitch other than that, but... Yeah, just, we're going to need to watch these trees. Yeah. But other than that, I'll just sit straight in the middle. Should be all right, yeah? I'll yeah. stay here. Yeah, you guys stay in here. Oh, you're staying here? Yeah. Okay. Just, just watch me in that side. I'll come with you. Yeah, come on. Richard! Keep Teddy Piper. That's better. So we've come down to the swimming pool here. They've got loads of really cool slides, log flumes, and we were hoping to get like the kids a resort on them. Type Proper resort, um, but they're closed. So uh, we're just chilling. There's a little toddler pool that the kids are playing in, and you'll just be able to hear that music that started playing. It is a proper like over retirement home. <laughs> It's a retirement home. I was going to be polite to say over 60s vibe going on. No, do you know what it is? Uh, these places are great if you're on holiday. Did you hear him squeak then? Sorry, yeah. but Rick does this thing where he, like he starts to talk and oh, out comes bully me. a little squeak. Bully me. Huh? I'm and like it, a mouse. It gets me every time. Anyway, carry on. I will well. carry on with my squeaks. Jackie, no, no, back. Yeah, so this place is like, it's great if you're on holiday. If you're on holiday, this is the sort of place you'd want to come for a week or two. But we're traveling and this is our life and these places cost a lot of money. Yeah. And so I tend not to like them also, because you're out of season, there's no other kids and it's just old people, which is fine. They're enjoying themselves. It's good to see them enjoying themselves. Oh yeah, themselves. they're all up dancing. They're having more most fun old, than Rick. Most old people don't. And these guys are living life, great. I just don't want to be with old people. It, it's fine, I just don't want to do it. I want to be like, it sounds silly, but I want to be in like some dodgy car park where I pay like two quid, Rick, if anything. All, all the young people are working. That's I don't want to do that either. <laughs> <laughs> he also told us that the water, Rick asked him reception, he said, how cold is the water? He said, and they said, oh, not cold. It's pretty cold still. It's weird. No, it's not. No, it's cold. Not as cold as we've had it, but it's definitely cold. Good morning, so we're actually leaving this campsite today. I was supposed to be walking in front of the lorry to help Rick get out and navigate around the pitches and down the lanes, but he's storming ahead, he knows what he's doing, needs very little help from me, which I'm quite glad of. Uh, so yeah, today we are heading somewhere quite exciting, but it is a little bit of a surprise for the kids. So we, we've kept really quiet, we haven't even told them where we're going. They've not even asked where we're heading today. So I think they just think we're maybe just heading to a new park up. So we're keeping quiet and uh, we'll see how the surprise goes down. Yeah, we do need to make sure we do some schoolwork. How can you have one more day off? No, it's important. Can we learn about citizen science? Because that is what I've done today. I think we're going to do biology. All right, let's find our park up. 
Oh, that's the military, look. Oh, you get pulled over? Look, Rock Park. Rock Park. I look Rock Park. He's not a... So yeah, we're at Crop Park today in uh, near Agadir and we've just walked in and there are just so many crocodiles. Obviously it's called Crop Park, but yeah, never seen so many crocodiles in my life. We just found out that it wasn't actually that long ago that there were crocodiles roaming in the wild here in Morocco and it was the 70s that they basically became extinct here in Morocco, which is quite incredible really. Just 50 years ago, these things were roaming around. <laughs> Not gonna let all the kids have all the fun. Time to be a big kid. Did you know what I was gonna do? I heard. I just know you. Know, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, all my days. They're very close, huh? We've just had our lunch in this restaurant overlooking the crocodiles. How awesome is that? I don't think any of us have had a restaurant experience like this, have we? There's one coming for you. Where's my crumbs? <laughs> There's one walking. I see one walking. Do you? You have to look because they don't move fast, do they? Unless there was food. If there's food in there, they move very fast. Very fast. Oh, look, there's one getting in the water there, look. And, and, and off it goes. Yeah. So all that's left now is just to pay the bill. So I'm just waiting for Richard to do his standard sign for the bill. You just wait. I'll try and get it on camera. It's not a standard sign. Has anyone watched Lee Evans? Uh, his standard, one of his standards. I don't know what it's called. Can I the bill? Can it the bill? Like all that's, British people. That's what all British people did from across the restaurant. Can it the bill? So these ones just over in this tank, they were born this year, so that's why they're in a tank and they're separated to save them from the predators and like the birds. Um, but they're really tiny and really cute. I can't look. 
No shout, Jackie. Look at that. One. There it goes. Oh, look at him. Look at his claws. I know. This he place does look is like epic. Dragon, doesn't he? Yeah, it's epic. And there's one up there as well. Yeah, smaller ones. Yeah, that bit, the bearded bit. So weird. Last time we see like these weird things. Yeah. Look, they what are they called again? Iguanas, I think. Iguanas. Yeah. Honestly, this pool here, you'll be able to hear it, but the frogs are just going crazy. Like, I've never heard so much life just, like, vibrant. There's fish swimming, frogs spawn, and it's almost like the longer you stand here, the more frogs you're going to spot because they're just everywhere. And I've just spotted a baby crocodile in it too, <laughs> which is really cool. I'll try and show you. So there's also a lady here doing free henna. So Piper's going to have some as well. We have seen it in like some of the touristy places in like the, the towns and stuff where you get hassled. But this looks all right. So we're going to um, get some free henna and I might even get some myself. Hello. Hello. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. I'll take a seat there. You want one? Have a look, Piper. Oh, look at that! How cool! Do you not don't touch it? Oh, that is pretty. Very cool. Just one hour. Um? But just one hour. Okay, yeah. One hour. Wipe it off. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So leave donuts, don't rub it or touch it. You have it to keep it you. like that. Yeah. Can yeah. I have one as well? Yeah. Here is going for it. I like a fly. So don't rub it. There you go. Perfect. What do you think? It's nice. Look at that. Ooh. I wasn't sure I was going to get one, so. Quite Looks happy. good. And what a beautiful place to get it. Thank you. Thank you. Stick around. The girls. So we wipe it off after an hour and then yeah, we'll see what it looks like. I've set my timer. Nice. So nice. look at this. Hold your hand out, leave it to, leave it to dry. Beautiful place. What a fantastic experience that was, but now we need to find somewhere to stay for the night. pitches. So Rick's just going to go and look for our pitch now. I think there's a, a little bit of a language barrier here. I think the guy, the owner, speaks French but doesn't speak any English. So uh, I think they've done the official passport checks and all that stuff and now Rick's just walking down. It looks like a nice campsite. It's very green. Um, looks like it's got nice pitches. Um, but I'm not sure how big the pitches are so it might be another interesting one for us. The pitches are not that long. They're only about Eight, eight and a half meters. We're right. obviously nine. Yeah. But there is like a gravel area mm -hmm. over the back. Oh, okay. So and there's two motorhomes on there, and it's like that's just a big gravel car park area. So I'm happy just parking adjacent to the wall. Yeah. You know, over there, and I'm happy with that. Okay. So. Can you give that a go. Like the bays. These do look really short. Yeah, they are. You can see that caravan there. It's not very long will be poking out a little bit so again as i said i'm happy with the other end where are we going yeah oh ah, we're gonna ruin their game of bowls <laughs> apologies <laughs> you, should, you can't have a first uh, a bad impression you've literally i know turned i've up. literally turned up and then people are just like i'm not sure they're really moving anyway i don't know i could just reverse it I yeah <laughs> that's hilarious First impressions? Don't know. Don't know if I'm allowed to say it. Go on, be brave. It's the French. <laughs> Richard, I didn't think you were going to say that. <laughs> oh, I'm saying it. You just get the impression, don't I? Get the impression. No, there's certain campsites where you, I don't know, there's certain places that I, I park and I'm like, mm, mm, don't know about this. Sort of people think they own the place. I've just got that vibe, but instantly I've got that vibe. But it's nice, it's not far off, buses into the town, petrol station next door, should be alright. If I need to shift over a little bit later, I will. Well, good morning, guys. I have to be honest, because I think I judged the book a little bit too soon on this campsite. 
We've actually been sitting here for a few days and just chilling out. We haven't done any filming. We've just been chilling out, doing some schoolwork for the kids, letting them play around, scooters out, skateboards, all of that stuff. And it's actually been quite nice. It's actually been quite nice. So it's actually quite a nice campsite. There's a little shop next door at the garage, so we've been getting a few little bits from there. And yeah, just chilling out. So getting the teas and coffees on this morning. Going to try a new breakfast today because Jack made some overnight oats, peanut butter overnight oats. So they're in the fridge. We'll get them out in a second. Uh, and then yeah, see what the plan is for the day. So do you remember how you made them? Yeah. How? Uh, first, if you have a cup, yeah. he puts a, a whole cup of oats in. Yeah. You put it in like glass jug or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, and another whole cup uh, of milk. Yeah. Half uh, of the same. And you mix it all up, don't you? Yes. Mix it all up. So the good thing about these oats, you leave them overnight to absorb all that milk, and you don't cook them. So normally with you porridge you cook the them. Butter. Huh? You forgot about the peanut butter. You forgot about the peanut butter. <laughs> you can't forget the yeah. peanut butter. So we, we uh, sort of flavoured them up with a bit of peanut butter. Now what, you're, uh, what you should do is now put fresh fruit on top and just have it as a beautiful bowl of sort of cold porridge, That's whatever. Not for you. Uh, that'll be perfect, thank you. Uh, but we don't have any fresh fruit, so we're just having this with a little bit of honey to sweeten it up. So this morning we're actually going to be heading into the town itself so where we're parked now is the outskirts of Tarradunt and we need to go into the town because our fridge is so empty and we want to have a look around too we've heard it's a bit of a mini Marrakesh uh, so we're going to have a tidy up in here and then we should be ready to hit the road So final checks inside before we go, shutting all the windows. Then in our oven, we always have to take out our grill tray, excuse the crumbs, and then we just keep that on Teddy's bed at the back. We'll also need to empty our toilet jug, just our wee jug in there, but I'll leave that one for Rick. Then we check all the air vents. That one up there is closed. Uh, let's have a look at this one over here. That one's open. I've just noticed one of these is missing, which means they're probably going to shake around. So I need to put another one of those back on. But other than that, everything does stay in place. Um, I'll just have to move this chopping board. I like to move that when we travel. And again, just pop it on a bed. Things stay nice and nice and still. This drawer here also tends to open when we drive, so we just block that off with a few boxes. Just to keep it in place. There you go. So as well as inside checks, we also do some outside checks. Making sure nothing's hanging down, everything's shut. Tires are all looking good. Gas covers on. Closed up. Fuel cap. Don't want anyone nicking me fuel. That's all good, that's all good. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Quick check at the front and underneath. Yeah, that's all decent. So that's it, we're good to hit the road. All right, here we are, look. That was quick. Let's go have a little wonder. We left our lorry parked up in the guarded parking lot paying just 10 dirhams whilst we headed out to the shop to stock up on some food. The town of Taradun is actually nicknamed the Grandmother of Marrakesh because of its similar surrounding ramparts. A nice town overall, but it didn't seem like there was an awful lot going on here. So we did the usual walking around and getting a few supplies. The kids were pretty happy that we found a play park though. 
Right, so that was really weird. We just took the kids to the play park just there and some guy, I was obviously had the camera on me and some guy came up and he was like, can you take pictures of me? And so he arranged, he took my number, took my name and he asked me to take pictures of him and his kid. Um, his phone was obviously very basic, didn't have like a camera functionality. So I'm guessing it's the novelty of actually getting a proper picture taken that he wanted. So I'm hoping that he can actually send me a message and then I can ping those photos to him. But it's really nice to be able to do that. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to join us again next week as our journey through Morocco continues further inland and the landscape changes for the better. We find an incredible wild camping spot, stop off at the most famous gas station in Morocco, drive through a sandstorm, find ourselves in Egypt, meet some more local wildlife and the road we are driving on literally disappears. It's a jam-packed episode not to be missed so go ahead and hit that subscribe button.